Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave and optical communications. Up to the last year, we used to have a subject called microwave engineering, but uh, in latest for the R18 BTEC EC students, they have introduced, they have made a few changes and they have introduced a subject called microwave and optical communication, which includes both microwave engineering as well as the concepts of optical communication. So this is specially designed for the BTEC fourth year first semester students. So I have already posted several videos based on the microwave engineering. Those concepts will be also included in the, uh, this kind of uh, this syllabus and as a part of extra topics and optical communication topics are also included as well. So in the coming sessions, I will be also doing uh, videos on these optical communications. So let's have a quick overview of this microwave and optical communication uh, subject. So as a prerequisite, we need to have a basic knowledge on antennas and propagation. With the basic knowledge of antennas and propagation, we can achieve few objectives as well as we can get through few outcomes that can be our course outcomes. Okay. So with this subject, we can be familiar with the microwave frequency bands as well as their applications. And we can also uh, can understand the limitations as well as the losses of the conventional tubes with respect to these frequencies and the variations in the microwave tubes. Okay, we can also see the different types of microwave tubes and their structures and how the principles work behind them. Okay, we can also have a knowledge on the scattering matrix. Okay, and various types of microwave junctions. And at the last, the new topic which was added, okay, we can also learn several uh, topics of optical fibers in communication media, okay. These are course outcomes, the students can able to learn the microwave frequencies generation as well as the performance characteristics of them. And they can also able to understand the several principles of the solid state devices. And they can also able to distinguish different types of waveguides as well as the ferrite components um, which are applicable for the engineering applications and they can also mainly understand the mechanism of light propagation through these particular optical fibers which are added as a new advantage or new topics for this particular syllabus. So on the whole we have got five units. So here we have four in the next paper we have another fifth unit. So if you see here the first unit uh, is microwave tubes, which contains or covers limitations and losses of the conventional tubes. And we can also see the classification of O-type tubes as well as M-type tubes. And coming to the O-type tubes, we can go through two cavity as well as multi-cavity uh, clistrons, and we can see their apple gate diagrams. We can observe the bunching process, and we can also express the output power and the efficiency. And we can also see the mechanism, how this reflex crystal works, how the, how the apple diagrams are. And we can also clearly uh, pictureize the power output efficiency and the oscillating modes as well as the output characteristics. And coming to the another structure, we also have a helix traveling wave tube uh, mechanisms here. We can also see that particular traveling wave tubes as a part of microwave tubes. And coming to the second unit. So second unit, we can completely see regarding the M-type tubes. M-type tubes covers um, magnetron tubes where magnetron is considered to be the one of the major source of a microwave generation. So along with the magnetrons, we can also see microwave solid state devices, uh, which has an applications as well as we can also uh, see the TEDs Tets, and we can also see the theories like W, um, I mean, RWH theory, as well as the main important points are like gun oscillation modes, impact and trap at devices. So second, uh, from the second unit, the most important topics will be like uh, magnetrons, solid state devices like TED, okay, gun oscillators, impact and trap at devices. And coming to the third unit, this third unit completely covers the waveguide components. So these waveguide components, we have, we generally come across in the laboratories as well. So these waveguide uh, components can be some kind of 
tuning screws, post match loads, okay, attenuators, shifters, okay. We can also come across several T's like E plane T, H plane T, magic T, and all those things. And we can also see few ferrite components such as gyrator and isolator as well. So this unit three completely covers the waveguide components, which are very, 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 very important. And coming to the unit four, unit four has two another classifications. The first one is the scattering matrix, which completely focus on the scattering matrix properties. So we will be um, deriving a scattering matrix, or we can also call it as S parameters, such as E plane, H plane, magic T, um, directional coupler, or um, another kind of circulator. Okay, all these properties can be derived using this scattering matrix properties. Coming to the second part of the fourth unit, we have microwave measurements. We will be measuring several parameters like uh, attenuation, frequency. We will be also considering the measurements of low and high uh, voltage standing wave ratio like VSWR. And we also calculate the quality resonator cavity, Q and the impedance uh, measurements. Okay, So mostly we will be considering all the measurements of microwaves. Okay. Uh, which we generally do it in the lab as an experiments. So the fourth unit second half will be completely focusing on the microwave measurements like frequency, attenuation, VSWR and etc. And coming to the fifth unit, which is uh, a new unit or the new topic or the new chapter for this particular R18 syllabus, which is nothing but optical fiber transmission media, which completely covers uh, it gives a basic overview on this particular types of optical fibers and the light propagation, how it will be done. And we can also see this optical fiber configuration and what are the different types of light sources, optical sources, and how these particular light detectors, we come across like sensors like light detectors and uh, um, photodiodes, right? So this sensors or detectors which works as a light as an input. Okay, We will be seeing the principle and mechanism of all these light detectors. We can also come across lasers, LEDs, Okay, and we can see a concepts like uh, WDM as well as the uh, optical fiber system link budget. So these are the five units which we are covering in this particular new syllabus. The top four units are already the old units which are already there in the microwave engineering silvers and as a part of this new silvers microwave and optical communication they have added new unit as an op fifth unit which is nothing but the optical fiber communication media where we will be completely dealing with optical fibers and optical communication systems and coming to the textbooks we can uh, refer an optical fiber communication book by Gerd Kaiser Okay, so almost all the topics will be covered from this particular uh, um, uh, book. And if you want to go through some optical communication or topics, you can also find from these particular textbooks as well as the references. These are the textbooks and references given by uh, JNTU or prescribed by the JNTU. Okay, thank you.